this entire thing falls down and we all die. I've seen speed. Speed with Keanu Reeves from 1994 is what she's basing her fear of elevators on. So every time I'm in an elevator with Becky, she always freaks out and thinks that we're gonna die. That's because I am terrified of getting stuck in an elevator. Every time I ride one, I scan possible escape options just in case shit goes down. I've talked with a firefighter and an actual certified elevator journeyman to get some real facts on the subject. Becky, what are you actually afraid of happening in an elevator? One of my biggest fears is getting stuck in an elevator and it losing oxygen. Every single elevator is ventilated. Take a look. Here, all the way around. Look at all those vents. Elevators are not airtight boxes. They keep them ventilated for your safety. You want to try to escape an elevator? Yes! Pry open the doors to live. So you mean something like this? No, stuff like that only really happens in the movies. Most modern elevators come equipped with a door restrictor, which allows the doors to open only four inches when the elevator is stuck between floors. If you do get it open, you're still putting yourself in so much danger. I don't believe that. Here's some stats for you. First, there was a woman in Long Beach, California that was crushed by an elevator trying to escape. There was another young man who was killed on New Year's Eve as he was helping another woman to safety. However, if everyone had stayed on the elevator in the first place, no one would have been injured. And finally, there's another young man in Williamsburg who was crushed by an elevator as he was trying to escape. So, what's your next fear? Essentially, we would be forgotten. This has actually happened. I know this has happened. There was the guy in New York who was forgotten for 41 hours and the woman in China. She died. She was left in an elevator for a month. For an entire month. Those are both freak occurrences. My theory is that we would get trapped in this forgotten and I would have to have you probably open this thing up and then we would get out. So here's the hatch on top of the elevator. Only one person has a key to open it up. So it can only be opened up from the outside and not from the inside. So there's no point in you trying to get through. Even if you did get through, it would be incredibly dangerous and would increase your chances of getting injured a hundredfold. My third fear is that a malfunctioning elevator has the great potential to free fall and then we all die. The most memorable account of an elevator free falling took place in 1945 when a B-25 bomber crashed into the Empire State Building, severing the cables, causing the elevator to come crashing to the floor. The reason you are safe is because there are two different guide rails, one on each side. They are held together by two different guide shoes on each side. You have this entire piston with the column of oil holding it solid and the jack below. You've got the buffer springs. It's almost 0% that an elevator is just going to free fall down to the ground. Even if the power goes out? So if the power goes out in the elevator, it's just going to stop right where it is. Now I'm going to show you what you're actually supposed to do if you ever get trapped in an elevator. It's, it's a little boring though. What are we doing here? First, push the alarm button. Hopefully someone comes. If not, wait a minute, push the call button. See if you can get in touch with somebody. Sometimes that's out, it doesn't work. Then you have the fireman button. Hit that and the fire department is alerted right away. So at that point, the only thing you can do is wait. How long are we waiting for? The average waiting time is 30 minutes. We are not waiting in this fucking elevator for 30 minutes. Time to wait, come on. No, 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 Josh, Take get up, no, Josh. You Now we did what we were supposed to do. You're supposed to stay on the elevator and wait. So now that she's done that, someone's come to rescue her. Look at that, babe. Yeah, let's just... We're ready let's, to go. Yep, yep, yep. You did it. You just beat your fears. Like, how exciting is that, right? You gotta feel good, huh? No, I hate you. What? just hate you and I hate elevators. So we need to end this video. Oh, oh. so we're... We are cutting and this is over. This was a, I, I, I hate I you. I thought it was pretty awesome. I, I hate know. you, Josh. You just faced your fears. Oh, no.